So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to control a material instance via a blueprint. Um, you will need to create a material instance for this, which is one of these. This allows you control textures, etc., from uh, variables and parameters, etc. Um, if you don't know how to do that, you I do have a tutorial on this, um, which is very to the point. Um, and there is a longer one as well that goes into a bit more in depth, but you will need one of those. They're very easy to create. So what we'll do is go to our blueprints folder, blueprint, blueprint class, actor, BP, we'll name it cube. Drag that in, open up our cube, add component, cube. Obviously this can be applied to your own geometry if you've got it. So just check that's in the window. Yep, there we go. So then go to the construction, construction construction script, get there in a minute. If you don't know the difference between the construction script and the event graph there, I do have a video on that. Um, it explains just a little bit of how they, they work. So we'll be using the construction script. Drag our cube in, uh, click back on the cube and give it a texture. So we're gonna use wood. And right back to our construction script. Off of the blue pin on the cube, drag out and type set uh, material. There we go, we want set scalar um, uh, parameter. So drag that off, connect it up, give it a parameter name. Now the parameter name is taken from our material instance names. So you'll notice here that I've got hue, shift, metallic, roughness. You've got to spell it exactly the same as it is. So it's got a capital, put a capital in. Um, and that goes in the parameter name here. So we'll name this one hue, shift. Then I'm going to promote this parameter. So load, open this back up. Going to right click promote variable and give it a name. So we'll name this hue shift. You can name that whatever you want to name it. And we want to make this public. To make this public, you can either do it over here um, or we can just do it on the eye. I prefer on the eye because it's a lot quicker. So do that, save. Now, if we just close our blueprint go to our cube we now have a field over here on the right called hue shift which is what we just created so then we drag that as you can see it's changing the color live so what we can do then is we can say drag off another cube change the color of that drag off another cube change the color of that and as you can see very quickly we've got three different variations there this you know imagine with a building how quickly you could generate different variations of the same building color etc um, so what we can also do is say, go back to our blueprint cube, and we're gonna drag off of the cube again, and uh, type in uh, set material scalar, and we're gonna name this one roughness. And I already know the name of that, so we'll name this roughness as well. Again, make it public, always compile and save. Go back here, so what we've got is, as you can see, three, very shiny wooden cubes, we'll click on the middle one, go 0.5, we'll click on the end one, go 1. And now we have a little bit of reflectivity in this one. See just there, I'll just adjust that. No reflectivity at all, a little bit and a lot. So as you can see, this would be ideal for creating scenes, um, variations, you level designers, they can quickly construct stuff as they need to, they don't have to worry about, you know, going into a material instance, editing it, creating one, etc. Um, it just makes life a lot easier um, when creating. So yeah, hopefully that's given you a quick explanation of how this works. And if you liked it, please give a like and maybe subscribe. Thanks.